And that's what a douchebag asshole looks like. Good morning, Tech Nation. I know I'm a little late with the moto vlog this week, but I was a little under the weather. I was sick most of the week. And uh, then I had my girlfriend's mom's birthday festivities here on Saturday. So, going out for a ride finally today, according to Moto Vlog, after a nice healthy breakfast at A&W, <laughs> pretty sad, the, uh, the FZ is looking pretty good, the Akropovic is running really nice, and I'm headed on my way right now to Argyle Motorsports Chick for a new pair of gloves, because my current pair of gloves are causing a nasty rash on both the backs of my hands. So yeah, I'm looking at a set of uh, Alpine Stars GPX shorties, short cuffs or three quarter cuffs or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully the guys over at Argyle Motorsports have the gloves. If not, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to order them online. Woo, a little bit of gravel, lots of gravel around here. And then we're gonna be headed over to my girlfriend's place to uh, go for a ride with her. First time this year. But first, Argyle. So, while we're on the way to Argyle Motorsports, got a little bit of sad news. The, uh, one of the guys that I talk to frequently over at Argyle Motorsports, uh, he's the uh, Ducati guy there. Uh, his name's Colin. I'll throw up his, uh, his Instagram over here so you guys can take a look. But uh, sadly on, I think it was Friday night, he... Uh, had a little collision with, uh, looks like a Mazda hatchback. I'll uh, throw some pictures up of his Instagram here for you guys to see. Uh, he's okay. He has some injuries, obviously, because... Uh, uh, but he's going to be okay. He'll be back out in probably a couple months. Uh, just some uh, some fractures and, uh, and all that. But uh, the bike, from my understanding of what I've been reading so far, looks like a complete write-off which uh, is unfortunate because uh, as you guys can see here, I've got some other pictures going up of before the accident. The Ducati had some very nice, uh, very nice parts, very nice parts, very nice aftermarket components. And it was just a gorgeous bike overall. So sad news on that front. Uh, definitely head over to his Instagram, wish him some, uh, you know, get well soon messages from all you guys. And uh, ride safe, just a reminder, you know, there's a lot of stupid idiots out there on the road, and you never know, right? But it is a real shame that uh, the Penegali 1199 that he was riding is, uh, well, it looks like it's a write-off, but I don't know. We'll see what happens in a couple months. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I, uh, as I know more. And uh, one of my other subscribers, uh, Mary Jane Lee, I believe it is. I apologize if I'm butchering it because I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But uh, apparently there's a nice crew of FZ, uh, FZ riders, I should say, here in the city. And uh, she's invited me to come out and uh, I graciously accept. Although I have to know when and where. So I have to do a bit better job of uh, communicating and over the social medias it's not really my uh, my game I'm not much of a social media guy but uh, you know hey it works out and uh, it would be nice to uh, chat with some of the other FZ riders here in the city and uh, go from there of course this does mean that I probably have to buy the FZ 10 when it comes out just so that I can be the first <clears throat> but we'll see how that works so, anyways, we're here at Argyle Motorsports. I'm gonna see if I can find these GPX gloves, so. That way I don't have to worry about my hands being all rashed up anymore. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Well, Tech Nation, we're all done over at Argyle Motorsports. So we're headed over to my girlfriend's parents' place first to pick up her gloves, which she left in her helmet for the winter. I bought her a new helmet, the Armada Spastic in a gold flake, and uh, she's looking forward to wearing it. 
And uh, speaking of which, I'm not sure if the camera's picked it up yet after that guy figured out that I was coming up and didn't cut me off. Thank you very much. The, uh, the gloves, I could not find them. The uh, Alpine Stars GPX in black. Uh, and they were in back order mode until, woo, lots of gravel here. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So I couldn't find my, I couldn't find my uh, GPX gloves in black and they were back ordered according to the dealer as well as the online retailers until it looks like the end of May. Uh, so probably early June would be about the earliest I would ever see them under more than ideal circumstances which you know never fucking happens here in Canada when it comes to motorcycle stuff. So instead of buying the all black, I bought the white and black. Gotta say, they don't actually look too bad. And uh, you know what? Positive spin, I think. When I flip somebody off, being that these are nice and bright and white, they'll see it a bit better, I think. It'll be a more, um, a more effective flipping off, you know, a more efficient, we'll say. So here's to that. And uh, while I was there, I told them that I had bought my Scorpion uh, T1200 helmet online because, well, I got tired of waiting. And uh, just for the shits, I said, hey, do you guys have the, uh, the Dark Smoke or the Silver Mirror Advisors in stock? And uh, sure enough, they had one of them. Uh, they actually had the Dark Smoke Pinlock, which was the one I was hoping to get. So that's currently stuffed in my bag here on my back as well. So good news all around. So the next moto vlog you guys see probably won't have the new helmet on yet, but the one after that, since it's already on its way from Montreal, there's a good chance I'll be wearing the new helmet. Uh, here's a picture of it in case you guys haven't seen the uh, the T1200 from Scorpion. Uh, I've gotten that exact one, the black on black. And I'm glad the helmet's on the way because uh, this Scorpion one, it's got a few years on it already. It's an excellent helmet, don't get me wrong. It was an excellent helmet for its time. Um, but the wind noise, it's gotten a lot, lot louder. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it in the helmet or not, but uh, it's gotten a lot louder for the wind, which is a problem. Well, Tag Nation, that brings this motor vlog to an end. Again, I apologize I didn't bring it up for you on Friday like I usually do, but I was a little under the weather this week and, uh, and then I had some other activities this weekend that I had to uh, to participate. The uh, Acropovic installation video will be up in the next day or two if you guys are looking forward to seeing that. Um, check out the Acropovic sound video if you uh, haven't seen so. Haven't seen so? Haven't seen? Yeah, haven't seen it yet. Uh, it sounds fantastic. Still sounds fantastic. And uh, it's just getting better as the uh, as the exhaust breaks in. So, in the meantime, guys, have yourselves a good week, good weekend, whatever, whenever you're watching. I don't know. Stay safe out there. And again, remember to go and visit uh, Colin's page and and give him your best wishes and uh, speedy recovery after his uh, his little crash there. And otherwise, guys, ride safe. Tack Moto out. And there she is with her new helmet on. All stressing out because she thinks she forgot how to ride. <laughs> what? Well, feel where your clutch is. Like, put it in gear. Put it in gear. You know how to do this, don't worry. Right? And then just go. <laughs> Can't believe you actually shoulder shaking. <laughs>